Hello, here's a video on how to customize your Salesforce utility bar. I have another video down below that talks about how I use each one of these items, but I'll go through the setup menu to show you some of the options for the Salesforce utility bar. First, go to setup. Then on the left, click Find, type in Manage, App Manager. When you're on the App Manager, it's good to note that you'll have to, uh, I'm sorry, that the utility bar is per app within Salesforce. So an app is your nine dot up here when you hit App Launcher, what options you get within this window. So you're going to have to figure out what app you want to add your utility bar to, and it's going to need to be a Lightning app type. So the app that we use is down here called Fostering. I have a classic and a Lightning. I want to mass, I want, I want to uh, customize the Lightning one. Hit the down arrow. Sorry, going a little slow today. Click Edit. And then third option down is Utility Bar. It is important to note the Utility Bar is for desktop only. It's not available for mobile. But then you'll see uh, Utility Bar, Desktop. You probably won't have any items here, but let's go ahead and hit Add Utility Item and Review. So some of the items that we have are Chatter Feed. So that's going to be your feed within Chatter. You can publish within Chatter. Um, you can put Einstein Nesbex Actions. You can add a flow. This might be a good use case for like a screen flow of creating new records. Uh, history. Uh, I haven't used history a lot, to be honest, so not quite sure <laughs> what it does. Um, list views. List views are a great way to add um, any sort of list view, like we use one called My Open Cases here. So it pulls in open cases. You can customize the icon, panel width, panel height. Um, you can even start it automatically when you log into Salesforce. A lot of other great features. After that are macros, which we haven't used a lot as well. Notes, that's just going to be general notes. Omnichannel, so if you use any support, omnichannel features. Uh, open CTI soft phone, uh, that's actually one that we do use within our phone. So open CTI, you do have to set this up first within Salesforce. And I'll put a link down below about open CTI. Uh, there's Quipped, associated documents and notifications if you use Quipped. Recent items, that's a common item within Salesforce. And I'll demo that in a video below. Uh, you can add a report chart. Say so you add a chart to a report, uh, you can certainly just quickly and easily pull that chart in. Very nice, very easy to use. Report, name your report, pull in a label. I haven't seen that use case happened uh, too many times. Uh, rich text, rich text is it's probably one of the most used utility bar items that I've seen. So a rich text, you simply add a label, and I'll show you one that we have as an example is fostering links. And I go through this use case in a video below. Uh, it shows the label. You can customize the icon, panel width, panel height, start automatically. And then it's literally just a text editor, and then you could add links. So just use your add link URL, and away you go. Uh, last, uh, oh, there's surveys, and then there's also Visual Force. So survey is going to be used, Salesforce surveys, uh, and then Visual Force. So if you have any custom Visual Force component, um, we've got two of them in, our, in ours. So current time tracking is a Visual Force component. You just simply name the page. You can set the height and width um, and other great features, as well as if you make any custom lightning components, those are exposable. Uh, within the utility bar as well. So many, many different options. Uh, we even got post to Slack because we got that integrated. We got Jira, a lot of different options. So think of the utility bar on the bottom of the Salesforce screen, kind of like a utility belt. It's going to be the things that users want to access no matter what page they're on in Salesforce, as long as they're in that app. Hopefully this helps you.